All right, you're asking for it, so here it is. Okay, so I'm making this video because um, my DMs is going crazy about this whole bridge piano thing of him being in a medical induced coma and all of this shit and how do I feel about it and you know it's just jacked up and then I started you know going up the explore wall you know then I seen um uh, Greg Valentino put a post like anybody say anything negative on blocking them, which is stupid as shit. Why would you post something when you know people's is gonna say something negative about about it and everything? So, you know, that was just crazy. So then I saw RX Muscle. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get comfortable. So RX Muscle post something about it and everything. And uh, me personally, you know, all you guys want to know how I feel. I don't feel absolutely nothing about it. Do I feel sorry for him? Absolutely not. I know y'all probably like, damn, that's fucked up, Mac Truck. That's fucked up. Why would I feel sorry for a grown ass man that's known for abusing uh, sports enhancement drugs, let alone recreational drugs? Why would I feel bad about a person like that? That's just like, if I go out there fucking drunk, fall all out or get into a brawl at a bar because I'm sloppy drunk talking shit to somebody get my ass kicked, why would I expect anybody to feel sorry for me doing some stupid ass shit like that? But that ain't the case. You know, um, it's like... Everybody is trying to make it seem like it was the steroids and all of this shit. It's not the steroids. This is not the first fucking episode. It's just the first episode to where that it went to the points where a motherfucker got to be at the hospital and induce coma and all of this. You know, now, if he had kids and shit, I, I feel bad for the kids. I really would. Because no kids should be without a parent, without a father or a mother, a grandparent or a grand, you know, in their life. So that's not the case. The whole fact of the matter is, it's time for people to take responsibility for their own actions. Like when I do stuff, I own up to it. I don't give any excuse about it. And I take my consequence and the repercussions behind it, you know, if it's some stupid shit like that, you know. So to everybody that's DMing me, stop. Y'all is not going to get no sympathy out of Mack Truck at all, you know. And I'm not doing this because I'm trying to be this old, hard, thugged out gangster and all this. My whole thing is if I ever have an issue with a person and we used to be tight close whether it's family or not and if you go through something I won't feel anything about it some may call me cold hearted some might call me an asshole but at the end of the day I am what I am oh shit I got that granny's kitchen getting delivered right now for my brother. So, you know, this is a different spin, dog. This is Grubhub. Nah, yeah, this that. is Grubhub at its finest. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, got that. Got that <laughs> granny's kitchen getting delivered. What y'all thought? Y'all thought just because I'm prepping for a competition that I ain't gonna eat my goddamn soul food? Oh, what's here, baby? Yeah, so like I was saying, I don't feel no sympathy for Rich being in a fucking drug-induced coma from drug overdosing. That's his problem. That's his business. He's a grown-ass man. 
He choose to do fucking recreational drugs, street drugs, or whatever the case may be. But it clearly wasn't no fucking steroids. So when a person try to put a video out to spin off, talking about, oh, it was the steroids and all this. You know, anything you abuse will fuck you up. Now, I don't know no steroid that's going to put you in a coma. You know. Now, insulin, if you mis mistreat that insulin, yeah, it could put you in a coma, but that's not a steroid like that. You know, that's some shit you just going to, you know, deal and dabble with on your own. And that's still your consequence. I'm trying to open up this package of this fire. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah, so. Why? You ain't got my own dressing on here? Uh, what, greens? Yeah, Ain't no greens? They weren't ready. What the fuck? I tried it, but it wasn't ready. I'm like, shit, you know, you're taking it. Oh, yeah, you know, goddamn well, I'm gonna take this. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let me go and get my money out real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. See, I can't go to Grain's Kitchen no more because I don't want to have no more extra activities going on in my brother's restaurant because that's a blood neighborhood. And everybody know I ain't no goddamn blood, so if I ain't been there in a few months, so you know what I'm saying. He brings me my food to me, you know what I'm saying, to the front door, cause that's how real players do. <laughs> how y'all doing? Anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. To all the supporters that supporting Mac Truck and Team 18 Wheeler, I'm rocking with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And supporting Lifting Lemon, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Continue doing it. You know, y'all support my boy Marquise. Y'all see his shit going. Y'all see my brother Sid's stuff going. You know, so we elevating and we got more to come. Man, I'm so mesmerized by this turkey dressing, macaroni and cheese and yams. Oh, it's about to go all the way down. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is the um, end of the video. So anybody that come for me because I don't give two rats ass about a nigga hurting himself, putting himself in a fucking coma, suck my goddamn asshole to the pink meat, nigga. To the pink meat. Bow! Kick, kick, kick! Pow, pow, pow. Show y'all that peak coming in. Look at that peak coming in. Watch out, boy. Look at them abs. Shit.